Hello everyone. Um, excuse the mess. Sorry, I was doing some other stuff. Um, today is going to be a very quick episode. It's actually my first episode using my new drawing tablet. Um, the website we're going to be using today is called Medibang, M-E-D-I-B-A-N-G-E, -E, and I'll be drawing on the HN610. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be drawing hands, or the, the structure of the hand. I would love to teach you how to draw a hand step by step and draw its like details and stuff, but I am way out of practice. So the one thing I'm going to do at the moment is work on the bone structure. So one thing you need to think about is the hand really breaks down into three different components. A lot of people would say it breaks down into four, but I think four is too complicated. The hand breaks down into about three parts, the thumb, the palm, and the rest of the fingers. So what we'll do is we'll draw, whoops, too thick. Um, still too thick, sorry, hang on. We just need something relatively thin. So we'll draw the rest of the palm, all right? And you have to remember the palm is almost a perfect square, all right? In a lot of other people's drawings, they'll either have it really long or really short and stubby. But if you want to draw an anatomically correct hand for the structure, you have to remember it's a perfect circle, almost. Not circle, square. Holy crap, sorry, it's late and I'm really tired. The next component we'll work on is the thumb. Before I actually draw the thumb, one thing you do need to remember is it works in a right triangle, or its radius is almost a right triangle. Its area of motion never extends. It will always be in an arc, something like that. The thumb will probably only go out to about here, but that is about as long or far away from the hand it will get. And I know that looks wrong, but you know, <clears throat> we're running out of time. So, <laughs> sorry, I just wanted to see if I can get a long or, or quick video done today. And then the fingers, let me just read, adjust my canvas a little bit. The fingers, if you pull them together, you can see they kind of create a sort of arch. The arch looks something like that, right? Am I right? It's more of a gradual slope towards the pinky where it's very sharp towards the index finger. And from this, we can actually find the different fingers. We have the index finger, we have the middle finger, we have the ring finger, and the pinky finger. And that's what's really cool. And using that basis, you can draw pretty much anything in a 2D space. Like, <clears throat> you can even draw a high five. I'm going to do that right now. So we have the um, palm, right? We have the thumb. I know that's really big. I always draw my thumb super weird. And then from here, we take that and just separate the fingers. Um, ignore that. So we have one, two, three, four. Using that arch, um, I obviously took quick times to draw all that, but using that arch, we can find the distance and length of each finger, which is wild. Like, you can spread out your fingers and it will make the same arch just wider. That's insane. <clears throat> and another thing, the same goes for the joints, right? The joints will rise with the pointer end the middle and go back down towards the pinky. And the same thing with those joints. Now, the thumb is a little bit different, but you can just do some guesswork on that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so hands are actually really fun and really easy to draw. I would love, again, to show you how to draw hands, but A, I'm out of practice. And another thing I forgot to mention is it's... I, I used to be that kind of person that would be like, I need you to show me how to draw this because I can't find a way to draw it myself. And then I'd learn how to draw it and then it would just feel off. It would feel different. You know what I'm saying, right? That's because you're not drawing in what's comfortable for you. It's always great to challenge yourself, but you have to remember that each person does art in a different way. 
Like, I love doing really weird people, like, heads, no necks, and one leg structure or something like that. That's just the way I like to draw because I've developed a really easy style and I've done it for so long, I'm able to just do it right then and there. But for other people, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe they know how to draw a hand really well. I did, and that was with practice. But remember, this is just the structure. This isn't actually teaching you anything. Well, you know, anything to, you know, criticize your drawing. What this is doing is opening your mind to anatomy. Anatomy basically is a fancy word for your body looks like this in different perspectives and different sizes corresponding to each other. Like, there are tons of people who draw different hands. There are people who will just do that, like a mitten. There are people who will just do that. And then there are people who do that, and then there are people who will draw the most hyper-realistic hand you will ever see in about 30 minutes. It's insane. It's crazy. Do not put yourself into the mindset that you will never be a good artist unless you do that. Because I did that to myself for the longest time, and I got to a point where I would hate drawing and would stop drawing for at least like four years. Like, I did not draw at all during freshman year. And it started around, let's see, about 6th, 7th grade? Yeah. So, like, um, that's one of the main reasons I don't want to show you how to draw hands. Because, like, it's good practice to learn, obviously, how to draw correctly. But it's really unhealthy and a really bad habit to try and compare yourself to other people. Now... I'm not saying you shouldn't mimic or, you know, even trace things. Tracing things is great, but don't trace them for the lines. Like the hand, trace them for the structure of it, all right? Let's say I have a pear, all right? I'm not going to trace it because I want the line of the pear. I want to trace it because I want the body structure. That is what I'm after. So if you follow that, you will be able to have your own art style and all that kind of crazy stuff, which I think is just awesome. So if you excuse me, what I'm going to do, oh, hang on, it's all messed up. Medibang is a great app and really awesome drawing service, but the problem is there are some kinks and there are some glitches when using a Chromebook, but there are some other ways around that. But yeah. Um, that was a quick video on hand proportions and a, um, you know, hopefully inspirational quote on how to and how to not do art. There is no incorrect way to do art. There are just painful ways to do art. And so with that, I will thank you for coming and watching my video. Um, I don't know when the next one will come out. Probably when I think of something impulsive. I don't know. But just have a good day. Thank you for watching. Take what you've learned into consideration. And with that, I will leave you on that note. Have a good one.